Hey guys, what's up? It's Brie here, personal stylist and closet organizer, and this is a channel devoted to helping you live a simple, beautiful life from the inside and out. And today's video is a good one because it is going to help you save time, it's going to help you save money, and it is going to help you save on heartache when you're standing in front of the closet every morning deciding what to wear. So let's dive in to today's topic, which is how to create a simple fashion uniform by understanding the anatomy of an outfit. Here's what I know about you. When you are crunched for time, you're probably going to gravitate towards the same things that you always do. And maybe you're running out the door and you just throw on your skinny jeans and the same blouse and the same basic flats that you always wear. Or you're just like, I'm going to throw on a flannel and some leggings and call it a day. And if that is you, then this video is going to rock your world. Okay, let's do this. One little note I want to say is that you need to get comfortable with being fearlessly you. Every time I go into a client's closet, I see just a unique personality jumping out at me. And it's my job to help draw that unique personality out and to help represent it in the clothing that's already in the closet that you have. So embrace that you're unique and don't be afraid to have a point of view when you're getting dressed. You may find that you know the whole fashion industry is telling you new, 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 different, 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 but what if doing things the same way was actually the solution to your problem? And that's where the uniform comes in. So some of the greatest people and artists that we've ever known have relied on uniforms or just a unique perspective on life to, to communicate who they are and what they believe. You have people like Georgia O'Keeffe and my favorite, Jane Birkin, Coco Chanel, Karl Lagerfeld. I know a lot of those people are in the fashion industry, but what about people like, um, you know, you have Steve Jobs and you have Mark Zuckerberg. You have the elites of the world who choose to dress in a uniform and have a very unique perspective and worldview about how they want to show up in the world. They're not afraid to look the same and to dress the same again and again because it's their signature, right? Like think about Anna Wintour. She's always got those sunglasses on. I think it's really neat when you decide, this is who I am, this is my aesthetic, and this is what I'm gonna go for again and again and again. All outfits are essentially the same. It's really just understanding the layers that you're using and how you can swap one or more pieces out to create a totally different look. Here's the anatomy of an outfit broken down. You have base layers, outer layers, accessories, which are uh, run the gambit, and then you have staple pieces and forever pieces. Base layers are essentially the tops of any outfit. Here you can see we have a base layer that's white and a base layer that's blue with the skirt. So that's the base of the outfit and that's really where you can start to build and change. Then you have outer layers which is the blazer and you have an accessory here which is this awesome ginkgo leaf pin that my friend Kate gave me. Um, another accessory could be scarves, hats, shoes, purses, and um, jewelry. From there, you can really start to sprinkle your outfit with different details and make it a whole new creation, even though it's essentially the same thing. Right here, I have the same outfit as this mannequin is wearing, but it's totally different colors. And guess what? All these things are interchangeable. So let's see what we've got here. You have a skirt and a blouse and a blazer. And here you have a skirt, a blouse, and a blazer. And what's so neat about this is that you can take these pieces, um, let's say you're going throughout your week and you're just really crunched for time, and you've already worn this shirt and this blazer, and you just want to quickly get out the door, but you, you had these pieces laying on your nightstand or on your night table, and you just didn't know what to wear. So you quickly grab this skirt, and you just pop it in here, like this, and look, it's like a whole new outfit, even though it's essentially the same thing. 
And so if I were to take off any one of these pieces and just swap it out for something different, it would create a new outfit and it would be totally different flavors, a totally different look, you know what I'm saying? But it's the same core outfit. When you start to do your closet and you start to think about editing the pieces that you have and downsizing, you know, you're gonna start to see colors emerge. You're gonna, you're gonna start to see your own unique personality come out. And I see that all the time when I work with clients in their closets. They don't think that they have a color palette already selected. They don't think they have a unique perspective or style, but they do, and you do too. So my challenge for you this week is to start thinking about who are um, the people that resonate with you? And you know, I've talked a lot about your style icons in other videos, so make sure you browse my YouTube channel for more of that and my blog because I have tons of articles. So I want you to really start to think about your unique uniform and how you may already have some pieces hiding out in your closet that could work to create this uniform. So you wanna stick with your colors and you wanna stick with your style. So if you love denim, go for denim. If you're a polka dots person, go for polka dots. You know, make sure that it's you and that you're really trying to make your life simpler just by wearing things that work for you. So I really hope that this video has helped. I know that it's a huge topic and I would love to break this down into more detail. Definitely go check out the blog post that's associated with this video. And also, while you're on my website and or on YouTube, you can download this free guide that I created that's gonna help you really hone in on some of these things we talked about today. And it's how to find your style in three simple steps. It's just a three page guide that steps you through some really powerful questions to help you hone in and kind of bring to the surface what your personal style is. And I hope that you download it. Go get your copy today and you know, just enjoy this week. So don't forget your assignment. Don't forget to download your free guide and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. My dog just totally flipped out while I was filming this. Now on to the topics.